We're here with Harley Clifford on the beautiful Ma Lakes in New South Wales. We caught up with Harley last season on Wake Life and uh, he's now a year older and maybe a little wiser and I'm tipping a lot better at wakeboarding as well. Welcome to the show Harley, what have you been up to the last year? Um, just wakeboarding a whole bunch, went overseas twice and to America and uh, just learned a whole bunch of new tricks like glides, sevens, mob fives and just having fun. Oh, I see your bag of tricks is growing quite large. Um, yeah, a little bit. So how was America? Did you get a lot of riding done over there? Yeah, I rode like three or four sets every day and then rode sliders every afternoon at OWC and got to ride with all the pros over there like Danny and Rusty. And I trained with Mike Ferrer like every day. It was great. So you're 13 now, Harley, and um, you've put a, a few inches on all round in your height and in your bulk, I'd say, as well. Has that affected your riding much? Um, not really, actually. It's helped me just getting bigger and stronger and just being able to, like, go bigger and it's easier to, like, grab tricks and tweak grabs. When you got back from America, Harley, you were back into it. You rode in the Team Rider Cup with um, fellow teammates Maddie Wilkins and Mitch Langfield to win as a team with Team Liquid Force. Yeah. Um, what else have you been up to other than that? Um, uh, I rode the first Pro Tour stop and then, like, straight after that, I broke my wrist on the skateboard. And since that, I've rode the last two stops, the Grom Tour and, and Nationals. So you do a bit of skating in your spare time when you not have a broken arm, obviously. Yeah, we got some ramps home in a rail, and my friend down the road's got a half pipe, and uh, we usually just skate around in the streets and just slide around. It's fun. Cause havoc. Yeah. <laughs> So you're top seeded for the Open Man Final at the Australian Wakeboard Nationals here at Docklands this year. Um, how does it feel sitting on that dock and you've just watched all the best riders in Australia ride and, and you're last off the dock? What's going through your mind? Um, it's pretty good. Um, up until Dean rode and I kind of stuck two sevens. I got a little bit nervous, but I just went out there and tried to do my thing. Being 13 years old and being surrounded by all these guys in their 20s and even some in their 30s um, at pro level, does it? Is it overwhelming at all? Um, yeah, it's all right. Um, it used to be uh, like now I get. I'm used to it now, but last year was kind of hard. Like I'd get really nervous easily and just hope for the best.
when you're on tour, Harley, and uh, the day's finished riding and everyone's heading out to maybe the bar or the club and gonna have a few drinks after a long day of riding. Um, obviously, you can't go with them being underage and all. Does that, do you ever feel left out about that or is there, is there a good side to it? Um, not really, like there's always like another couple of kids there that can come hang out with me after it that are my age and uh, I like it better because when I wake up in the morning they're not feeling so good, they're a little bit hungover and I'm feeling fine, ready to ride. Beautiful, you've got something over there. Well thanks for being on the show Harley, it was great catching up with you. All the best for the year and um, hopefully we'll see you on the show next year. Yeah, thanks for having me, it was a great time.